it's what Thursday. Updates to the idiot. Not much to be honest. I'm like halfway through, but still nothing has happened. Our narrator is uh enjoying Ivan for some reason. Not quite sure why. Their emails to each other remind me of like how high schoolers talked to each other. When she's in her like Russian lit -like classes, I'm enjoying the book because it talks about like, well, obviously literature and why else am I reading? Because I enjoy literature, but uh, yeah, there's like some linguistic stuff that's interesting. For example, oh, I forgot what it was about, but it was like, um, if you think about pale as in like white face pale, you'll immediately think of like the synonym or uh, homophones for it. So you'll automatically think of like a water bucket pail or like these word association things in language that happen. Like um, if you think of lion or no, 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 if you think of giraffe, the next animal you'll think of like not far from the lion is elephant. Um, not what, Not sure what to do with that information as of now for her. But yeah, my loan is up in five days for it, so I should probably get to it. Probably my weekend plans to finish The Idiot. Hello, it's Saturday. We got mail. Look at this box, it's so small. WOD, I think it is called. W-O-D-D, W-Zero-D-D. It's a cute little box. Very, very cute. Very cute. Yes. Found it in Bangkok, Thailand. 2021. Incredible. Um, I'm so basic and uh, chose letters of my initials. Is that lame? I think that's pretty lame. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. I've been looking for a decent necklace. I feel like all of the necklaces I've bought in Korea have been like way too small. And I got a thick neck. Sorry you have to see my sausage fingers. Wow, yes, love that length. Looks great. Sterling silver, against black, super classy. We love it. And then I don't know if this is the smaller chain. I think it's the smaller one. It has this like cute little card in it too. A little care card. Not sure if that's Thailand, but that is really pretty. It's like this uh, soft gray with this uh, like toned out yellow. Very pretty. Okay, I think this one is smaller. Yes, it is smaller. Can I get this one behind my... Do we like that? Do we like that? Is that too messy? Little close up for y'all. Um, so this is supposed to be an S and this is supposed to be a G. I'll probably have a screenshot of the alphabet here. Um, but yeah, do we like that? <sighs> kind of messy, I think. I wonder if I can like shorten the length of like, Bitch was like, uh-uh, not today. Okay, technical difficulties. Um, we are running out of space on this iPhone. It's 128 gigabytes, iPhone 12 mini. With like iCloud storage, which is stupid. Um, oh, we got our matcha. And I'm in matcha craze these last few. Big gulp. A few weeks been enjoying it um we got our necklace back on uh in the right order facing the same way yeah good Th that's not all wait there's more got this box from japan i'm really okay this is terrible this is gonna look like this is gonna make me look like i'm a hoarder um okay let me show you you can never have enough bags right <laughs> 
Um, eventually, well, you know what? Okay, anyway, let me go through. <laughs> Bag of collection. Okay, you wanna see, you also wanna see this? I got the standard Bagu in a cow print. Wait, okay, let me back up. I have a serious bag problem. I have way too many bags. Um, let me show you my Bagu collection. Here's the standard in cow print. Another standard in Bloomingdale's. Love this one. Uh, and then I just have a bunch of mini ones. I'm gonna have to gift these, like, well, when I gift gifts, I try my best not to put it in, like, plastic packaging at all. But, like, when you get a gift bag, or at least when I do, I re-gift the gift bag. Because I am the gift that keeps on giving. Anyway, um, but what better way to re-gift gift, re-gift re things without having to, like, re-gift something you know will, like, deteriorate within months of use. So, I have all my, like, mini baby baggies. Um, this print because this photographer I'm obsessed with on Instagram has this print. Reasons why you have this one. Uh, don't at me. This one, because there's, there's a little... Oh, you can't see it on this side of the print, but it, there's a beagle. There's a beagle. Can I open it? I'll open it. But look, little dogs. It's so cute. Absolutely adorable. Then we have this um, fun checkered print. Very pastel -y. Love it. Got our cougar print. Because that's what we're manifesting, a cougar. And... Um, Yes, yeah, so a little Peanuts one. This one's super adorable. Love the whole orange and purple together. Like two colors that people don't appreciate enough put together. And then this one, uh, what's her name? She's an artist on Twitter I found. And then she had these like bags. And when you open it up, it's, I don't know if you can see it properly, but it's salmon. Salmon. Absolutely adorable. Love this one. Use it all the time when I go grocery shopping. And now we get to this package. I have a bag problem. You can never have enough, like, too many bags, right? Well, I'm wrong to a certain extent. I got these from Japan. I'll open them, but I got three different sizes. We got the large, medium, and the small. I don't know why I'm holding it like this. Here we go. Yeah, it's this brand called Less Is. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, that's terrible. Less Is. Um, yeah, I'll have a link in the description, I guess, if anyone's interested. But let me show you. Let me open the medium one, because this is the one I'm most excited about. Um, looks like that. Do you see that? It's like folding paper. Truly, origami. Very soft, plush texture. As Tyvek does in the beginning, and then it starts to wear down in this like uh, fright tag look, which I'm hoping for. But yes, there's a magnetic clasp there. Do we hear that? Absolutely gorgeous sound. Um, opens up. into a little shopping bag. Very sturdy, because it's Tyvek. Tyvek, if uh, any of you don't know, Tyvek is a material used in um, like construction to like waterproof buildings that are being made. So very sturdy, meant to withstand rainstorms. I think it's waterproof. Tyvek is waterproof, I believe. Either waterproof or water resistant, but I mean, if you're covering it with a building, you would expect it to at least be waterproof, right? Um, but yeah, look at that. Opens up with this uh, little bottom here, so it's not just like, like, um, pinched at the bottom there, which I hate mostly about, like, tote bags. Um, so that you have more volume to hold things, which is great. Here's the inside. 
very, very roomy. This is the medium size, again, very roomy. And, you know, the Japanese have a way of, like, thinking about everything. Very conscious about how things are made. There is a pocket on the inside, a little pocket for little things. Once you're done, you just fold it up like so, and it goes in, or you know, you can put it as a bag and bag for everything. Very light, feels like nothing. Almost feels like a packet of tissue paper, if anything. Um, but yeah, very light. Is it lighter than a Bagu? Is it bigger than a Bagu? It is. A Bagu is definitely slimmer. Um, do we need a size comparison? Wait. Does it hold the same amount of stuff? I think this definitely holds more stuff than this. Um, this isn't a fair comparison though. This is a medium and this is a small. But I wouldn't be able to compare the standard because the standard's a large. And then the small version of this is like smaller. Because, you know, Japanese size is definitely smaller. Um, found out about this from this like Japanese YouTuber who's an absolute minimalist. Like the very definition of minimalist. There's literally nothing in his apartment. I definitely recommend watching his videos. He's great. But yeah, I'm going to finish The Idiot this weekend because it's due in like three days. Happy Saturday. Ooh, really dusty mirror. Um, fit of the day. We are putting on the new necklaces we got. Mm, I think two is too much for this fit, but we're just gonna go out because I don't want to deal with the chains. Um, the pants my friend gifted me. Mock turtleneck. Um, the, the wool long overcoat and my bagu i love this bagu because because look my whole ipad mini fits in here amazing incredible was happening. I don't think much happens at all. So this entire time she's falling in love through these emails with Ivan and she loves Ivan. Loves. I think this is a beautiful reflection of the digital age of meeting people having way too many feels in the expectations, the imagined, the fantastical realm that the digital universe upholds for us when we jump into these relationships. So, so she thinks she's in love with this person and then it happens. She meets him in person. They go to another country together. She goes to his hometown. It's beautiful. It is. It's really beautiful. I fell asleep while trying to finish 40% of it last night. Um, so I'm not, I don't remember exactly, um, if I missed anything. I don't think she ever has sex with Ivan at all. 
and it's beautiful. It's like a one of those first love stories and there's so much heart in it and there's so much wit and laughter. We love Ivan. We stan Ivan. We truly do. I didn't love it. We liked it because I feel like Batman as a writer, she, we, she gets a sense of who she is and a sense of her world and her characters a lot better in the second half than the first half. I feel like the first half was just a big fat slog to get through. The like the jokes were better in the second half than the first. There's more layers of wit and empathy and human elements in the second half. Or maybe that's the character development that occurs. I'm not quite sure cuz I was it was really boring. It was really boring the first half. And then the second half was definitely a lot more entertaining in terms of characters, the things she was thinking about. If anything, I think it's a beautiful representation of your freshman year of undergrad, coming into university, not knowing who you are, trying to figure that out, while at the same time having so many of these feels, falling in love for the first time. It's a lot, there's a lot happening until it reaches this dull yet crushing end. The last line really, really hit the spot. But uh, finished that in the nick of time. Literally had, I think, like three hours left of my loan. We are moving on to, I was going to bring Mucus in, the, in my pineal gland as my next book to read, but it's kind of clunky. It's definitely not a transportation read. I have a thing for small books because they're so easy to put in a bag to carry around, to pull out, put back in, and read. So I am reading this, uh, what do you call these? Oh yes, New York, New York Review Books. I hate these hideous covers. Whoever designs these covers are just, I mean, I get it. I mean, I think it fits the whole retrospective literature or the canon that they develop, but they're just hideous covers. I mean, this one's not bad. This one's okay. We are reading On Being Blue by William Gass. He is quite the guy. He's got really delicious prose. You wanna read you wanna you want me to read some of this stuff? Yeah, it's about blue and how it exists in fiction, which is incredibly funny because I think last vlog I talked about Bluettes by Maggie Nelson. And I'm wondering, and I feel like, if I'm not mistaken, this was definitely one a big influence of that work. He's talking about Henry Miller in a passage. It's true that Miller occasionally forgets himself. Still, he should be forgiven what we all want. Forgetting within the fuck. Love is a nervous habit. Haven't many said so? Snacking, smoking, talking, joking, alike as light bulbs, drinking, drugging, freaking, fucking, writing, forgetting nerves. Nerves, nerves, nerves. Just really static, electric prose. Goes off the tongue beautifully. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. It's a small, slim read. Uh, probably finish it this week. It's time to just be home. Turn off the brain. Which is a weird thing to say given that this is like, it's a lot to think about. It's nice to read things that are different back to back. I don't like so much reading a novel right after another novel and then another novel. I like to like give myself breaks. I think it's, there's a lot more brain work happening when you're reading. Cause a movie is a visual experience and sure you're thinking about things. What is it from iCarly? And yes, I'm quoting iCarly, but Sam, she's reading a, it's like some big, no, no, no. It's Huckleberry Finn, I think. And she's like, wow, books are just like movies in your head. A book is a movie yet you're also doing a lot more work. It's watching a movie, creating the movie, and then reading the subtitles for that movie, if that makes sense. That's what books are. That's where we're at. Hope you have a good start to the... It is Monday today. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's Monday. Hope you have a good start to the week.